back to the the podcast. Um, hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing okay. This is episode one nine six, I think one nine one nine six. I have, I believe. Um, I believe. Um, I believe. I believe it is. I believe in a thing called podcasts, and uh, because this one has been going strong and it's not stopping. Okay, two weeks in a row on tour. This is me, man. Soak it in. This is the new Kurt. All right, he's productive. He doesn't miss a week because he's uh, doing a show. All right, he's got he's on stage, but but while he's on stage, he's re- he's recording a podcast. In his mind, he's he's right here. In his mind, he's right here recording a pod. Okay. Um. Feels uh. Fe- fe- um. Where am I? Where am I, man? Where am I? Where the fuck am I? I'm in a. On this week's episode of Where the Fuck Am I? It is. I am in Tulsa, Tulsa, Oklahoma. I have a show tomorrow. Um, in here in Tulsa, um, so that should be fun. We're playing a ballroom, which usually isn't fun. So we'll see how the show goes tomorrow. Um, <laughs> it should be a good time, man. Yesterday we uh, we got after it a little bit. We went. It was uh, our our friend Andrew's birthday. He does our uh, our merch and stuff. And, um, yeah, man, he, uh, <clears throat> he, um, yeah, we, uh, we went to this, like, arcade bar called Main Event. It's called Main Event in Tulsa. Um, yo, it's like a, it's like a Dave and Buster's knockoff, okay? It's like a, it's like if you went to a place and they were called, like, um, like Nate and crusters or something like that's what it really should be called because it, it, it was what dave and busters did but it has this place had bowling which was cool um so we, we did a round of bowling we did a couple games of bowling that was fun uh, um and then we played a bunch of arcade games dude we played laser tag are you fucking kidding me dude laser tag i like that i like that term for it a lot because it's just like it's just shooting each other it's not really tag you don't get it Right, I don't think they called uh, war fucking gun tag. Um, I don't think that's what they call that. Um, you know, shipped off to to play fucking gun tag, and you know, I don't think that happens. I don't think that's what they call it. Um, but no, that was fun as fuck. I got in second place for laser tag. Um, and then, dude, we found this machine, dude, that is like, you know those machines in Dave & Buster's? It's like the coins. You drop a coin in. You shoot either drop a coin, you shoot a coin, you move a coin, right? Um, <clears throat> and there's like a bunch of, there's like two layers, and there's a thing pushing a bunch of coins down. And if you get coins to fall off, then you get like some tickets. Anyways, for those of you who know it, that's good. If you don't, my description did not do anything at all, so... Um, so there's like coins and levels and it pushes off and you get points. You know what I mean? Um, so, but this one, there was a SpongeBob themed one and there's like cards in it. Um, and if you get like a full set of these character cards then that's like 2000 tickets. So we're like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's just stay here, you know, see what we can get. And we probably collectively spent like $400 at this fucking machine. I spent 50 bucks on a card. I pretty much use all my points. Like half of my card I use on that thing. But everyone else was filling up their shit like crazy. Um, but we had like two full sets of these cards. And a bunch of other like almost sets. So and the and so we had at least 4,000 tickets. Um, and then whatever tickets we got from the other cards. And, and whatever tickets we had on our like little fucking cards or whatever. Um, our little passes if you will. So we, dude, we go to get, we pool all of our stuff together because it's like, fuck it, you know, we're all living together on this bus, you know, we might as well get some cool shit for everybody, right? Um, Obviously, we can pick out things we want. We have this amount that we can use together. Um, And dude, the look on on the the guy's face who was working the counter when we handed him all the cards we had, um, it's like someone like, it's like someone just fucking told him his dog died, man. Like he was like, he looked at it and he was like, man. (laughs) And we were like, sorry, dude. Sorry, man. This is going to be annoying, and I'm really sorry. Um, but he counted all, all everything up, all of our cards, all our tickets, everything, everything we had. And we had 
28,000 tickets. And that's a lot, okay? That's a lot. One, like, little airhead candy is, like, 30 tickets to get. So we had a lot. So we were like, let's just get all a bunch of little stuff and see how much we have left. Um, so I got, we got a bunch of like candy for the bus. I got like a weird like neck stand for your phone. You like wrap it around your neck and it like holds your phone there so you can lay down and watch something, which I'm really excited to try. Um, I got a bow and arrow, like a toy bow and arrow, which is cool. Um, some Pocky. Um, and then once we all got our cool gifts and stuff, we got a couple of games too. Um, and then once we... Once he checked us out, he was like, okay, you guys still have like 13,000 tickets. So we got a drone. Yeah, we got a drone. Um, we have an awesome drone on the bus now. We'll probably use that. Maybe we'll do it on stage, you know, just like fly it around in the crowd, get some cool shots, you know, probably take someone's fucking eye out or something. Um, but yeah, dude, that was awesome. Having That was the first time I've ever had someone like go open the... Um, uh, Sorry, I was adjusting my underpants there. I hope I didn't just flash one of my balls on camera. Um, but I don't think I did. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> yeah, it's the first time I ever had, like, because I go to a lot of game places. It's I love Dave & Buster's. It's, you know, it's the best place ever. Um, well, that's the first time I've ever had someone, like, someone be like, yo, can you, I got, you got to get down here and open up, the like, the display case. One of these guys want a fucking drone. Um, we wanted to get an iPad, which would have been really funny, like a, like a, um, like an iPad for all of us to share, which would have been hilarious, but we would have had like custody of an iPad. Um, but we couldn't do it. You know, it was like 68,000 tickets. So if we, if we went back tonight, if we went back tonight, I don't know, maybe we, and then the, the night and the day the, and the next day before the show, we might be able to get an iPad, but that's like probably like a thousand dollars and we could just buy an ipad for that for that much um but yeah that was fun it was good uh, i didn't get too drunk you know that was good we had food before and then i i you know i stopped i know my limit you know and then i woke up today and i got my haircut I got my haircut man it was getting pretty gnarly on the sides it wasn't looking like a mullet anymore it was just looking like a bunch of hair so i got it shaped a little bit and it looks pretty uh pretty sick i'm happy with it um, and, uh, uploaded a fucking video on the main channel, so go check that out, dude, go check out the main channel video, I talked about, uh, the girl who married a rag doll and then had its baby, his baby, um, and it was fun, man, it, it was, a, it's a fun video, um, I'm happy with it, I think it's pretty funny, some good jokes in there, and, uh, feels good, that was, uh, I haven't uploaded a video in a month, so it felt good to upload another one, um, and now I gotta fi figure out what to, to do next, and um, and now we're here, recording a podcast. Okay, so that's 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 my life lately: tour, games, and a haircut. And I also went after my haircut. I was starving, and I haven't had any coffee or food yet. And there was an IHOP right in the same plaza, so I was like, "Fuck it, man!" Solo IHOP trip, and it was honestly a really nice breakfast. I'm gonna start doing that more often. Okay, I'm gonna start going to ref restaurants by myself. Okay, felt nice. Felt really good to just sit there alone, you know, and just eat and just eat my meal in silence. It was nice. And it wasn't sad at all. I know you're thinking that, but it wasn't. Trust me. Okay. Um. Oh, dude, I got to talk about this, man. This was crazy. Sorry. I wrote that. I looked at my notes. This is why I have notes. Okay. Uh, a couple days ago after a show in Oklahoma City, um, that was the first show on the tour where it was at a comedy club. Um, which was fun. It was cool. It was a nice switch. You know, it was sort of weird. I was so, you know, I was so used to performing in these huge theaters. It's like, I don't know. It's just so weird, man. Go back to my roots a little bit. Um, <laughs> um, asshole. I'm kidding, but it was fun. It was cool. We did two shows there. It was, they were lit. Shows were done at like midnight. Um, and we were drinking a bit and we saw that there was a cowboy bar like next to the venue literally beside the venue was a cowboy bar and i was like well there's no way we're not going here um so we went there and dude weirdest fucking place i've ever been there's people well first off we saw a mechanical bull and we rolled the mechanical bull it was awesome i tipped the guy and he was like all right i'll do i'll make it i'll make it go slow for you You've never done this before here we go 
Um, and it was super fun. My legs still hurt from it because I was um, gripping it so tight I didn't want to fall off. And my I'm out of shape. Um, so that was cool. And then, I, dude, I watch the TV now. I watch the TV today. At like, I don't know where it was. But there was a guy... On a mechan- on a real bull, a live bull, and it was getting he knew he was getting bucked hard, and I was like, "Yo, I have so much respect for these guys." I thought it was just you know riding a horse or something, but it's not. It's a fucking huge animal that's trying to kick you off of its back. Makes sense that it's impossible. Um, um, they gotta do that for horses, man. Mechanical horses, where it's just like a nice, pleasant ride, you know, and it makes a noise. It's like, and then you can pet it, you know, be like, shh, you know. Um, you could maybe like comb its hair, brush it. That'd be kind of cool. Anyways, I'm not a horse, I'm not a horse girl or anything. Um, but, and then we were like, so we rode that, you know, we're walking around just checking out the place. And then there was a huge dance floor at this Western cowboy bar. And like people, guys dressed in like just jeans, shirt, and like a fucking hat and then there was, like, some weird song. They played Astronaut in the Ocean, which I thought was strange. But then they played this other, like, country song. And then everybody started, like, square dancing. Not, like, dancing like a square. I mean, I mean, like, they kind of were. But square dancing, like, doing the fucking turn around, like, with their feet and shit. And everybody knew what to do. Everybody. Hundreds of people on a dance floor all doing the same fucking hick country-ass dance. And I was so, we were fucking blown away. We were like, how did they know these moves? They're not saying it in the song. It's not like Soldier Boy when he's like, Superman, the hell now watch me, you know? Now watch me, you, you know? So it's like, all right. So that was strange. I didn't know if there was like a, they practiced before. Like they all got there early and they're like, all right, this is the dance. There was like a fucking hick choreographer or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but weird as fuck. And then uh, afterwards, dude, we went on a, we went on some, uh, yo, we went on Lime Scooters, man. And I we don't have those in Canada, okay? Lime Scooters, they're fun as fuck, okay? Probably not the best idea to do when you're hammered, but uh, we had fun. We were ripping around like crazy. Um, and it was fun as fuck, man. It's nice to be on tour and to just fucking, you know, let loose a little bit, you know? Um, and actually enjoy ourselves, you know? It's fun to get out and, like, do stuff because it's so easy to just be like, all right, show go to bed show go to bed it's like what do we it's you know trying to enjoy ourselves while we're on the road um and it's uh but i'm tired a lot i'm very tired but but we're 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 going through okay um okay i want to go through let's take a look at uh this i want to take we'll change the subject okay let's take a look at this tiktok that i saw Pro- one of the most fucked up TikToks I've ever seen. And hey, can you play? Thank you. Okay. So, listen, I'll preface this by saying, um, if you if you want to change how you look with plastic surgery, I don't fucking care at all. Like, literally, I don't care. That's great, you know? I'm all for it. Body positivity, man. If you want to change something about yourself, fuck it, Okay. I change my guy uh, when I play Skyrim. I change my guy's outfit all the time. I change what he looks like. If all you know, same thing. This this is your this is your avatar. All right, you could switch up how you like. It's yours. It's your body. Fuck it. Okay. If you want to put another arm on your chest, cool. That's awesome, man. All right. You got to stay armed and dangerous. <laughs> okay. So I don't care. I'm all for it. You know. Yes, some people take a little overboard. Right. Some people go a little nuts with it. Um, but if that's what they want to do, fuck it, okay? Um, but this TikTok that I saw rubbed me rubbed me the wrong way. And I'm going to stand on this side of this of the screen so we can just put it up as I'm watching it. But um, this, like, person on TikTok who does, like, plastic surgery, I guess they did, like, a face review of Natalia Dyer from Stranger Things. And it's fucking crazy. So let's let's go through it and watch it. All right, guys, let's talk about Natalia Dyer from Stranger Things. First of all, she killed it in Stranger Things. And if you don't like Stranger Things, we cannot be friends. So- <laughs> um, like a boss. I Stranger Things too hard like a boss. Oh, so if I was Natalia's injector, this is what I would do. 
like crazy premise, right? She says, if I was Natalia Dyer's injector, here's what I would do. You're not, okay? I think that's, it's crazy. This is a crazy premise to a video. If I could change what this girl would look like, here's what I'd do. Body positivity, man. I'm positive that this body needs to change. <laughs> like, fuck, man. We start by treating those masseters, and we all know how much I love treating masseters to help. You know how much I love treating those masseters. The fuck are you talking about? What's that? What's a masseter, dude? No one fucking knows what that is. <laughs> Not even you. You're lying. You're lying. Okay, so she has like a... Like, man... Also, <laughs> such such a weird thing to like be specific about being passionate about, right? It's like I love treating masseters, man. <laughs> Sounds like a type of dog. So, what do you do for a living? What's the, what's the best part of your job? Well, I'm a plastic surgeon. and I love treating masseters. So, oh, that's kind of cool. What do you? I don't know what the dogs have anything to do about this, but uh, that's cool. It's like, no, that's a part of your face. It's like, no, I don't think a dog is part of your face. It doesn't make any sense. Dog is a part of a dog, you know. Um. Fucking idiot. Get some surgery on your brain, dummy. Slim the face. Next, I would actually add a little bit of chin filler just to help fill out her chin and make her whole face more of like a heart shaped. It's already sort of a heart shape, though. It's like it's already what you want it to be. And like, bro, like, God forbid someone has like a different looking face, you know? God forbid someone is, is like has like a unique style a unique type of face or like a different shaped head different shaped noggin you know god forbid you know like I, I like you just want her to look like you is that what she's saying i think that's what she's saying this is what i would do to make her look like exactly like me because i'm like the hottest chick around i'm like the hottest i'm like the hottest girl ever so <laughs> yeah you don't want to look like me? What does that mean? You think I'm ugly? Okay. <laughs> Take it back. Take it back. I'm going to make a TikTok about your fucking face. And it's not like she... Look, Natalia Dyer is like a, a, a beautiful girl. She's like a very pretty woman. So it's like what... Not like it would make it okay if you were to do this to like an ugly person, right? That'd be equally as mean. But like this is like what... And it's not even, like, up for debate, really. Like, she's just, like, objectively, like, a, a pretty girl, right? So it's like, what do you... That's so mean. <laughs> Next, I would add a little bit to the lips. Just a little bit, nothing crazy, just a nice pout. And then we'd get in there and do a little bit of Botox. I'd give... Yo, this is giving me a nice pout, man. Mm. Me. It's making me pout, dude. Her nice brow lift to help open up her eyes. Her eyes are her eyes are open, dude. Just to help her open her eyes. Okay, her eyes aren't open at all, dude. What are you talking about? Hey guys, I just got a brow lift. Is that all right? Does it look good? <laughs> my brows are lifted. My eyes are open. I can't blink. I can't blink. Ow! <laughs> Ow! Ah! Oh, that actually did hurt a lot. Fuck. Jesus Christ! What an asshole. And to top it off, we'd start working with some Sculptra. She does seem to have more thin skin, and we want to prevent that from getting thinner and create more collagen. All right, let's see what the final product would give us. Ta-da! <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> hey, Natalia, maybe don't do all the things she said, okay? You look fucked. That looks fucked. She looks so... Like, that's not... This is a different girl. This is a different person. It doesn't even look like her at all. Why would you want that? And she looked way better before. She looked more normal. She had, like, unique features, right? And this girl's like, nah, fuck that. Let's make her look like a fucking Kardashian, man. Um, all right. How do we like my Photoshop skills? I don't like them at all. I wouldn't call them skills. I think you just fucked around with her face on Facetune. You're like, all right, <laughs> done, done.
This is good, and this is a good thing I'm doing. As we can tell, her jaw is slimmer, her chin is more pointy, and her eyebrows are more lifted, and gotta love that pout. Comment below with your thoughts. Do we love it? Do we hate it? Uh, I hate it. I hate it. I hate it, man. Yo, again, like I said, if you want to, you know, change how you look, get a nose job, a fucking, you know, filler, anything, fucking, who cares, man, you know? This is, it's your body, and if you have the money to do it, fuck it, okay? Do it. Right? There's some things I want to change about myself, but I just don't want to go through with, you know, fuck it, you know? And that's me. But there are people who are like, you know, they want to change things. Um, and that's fine. But also, it is, there's people like this. Did I stop the screen recording? Okay. Um, there's people like this who... They, are, they aren't in it for the, the right reasons, right? They want people to hate themselves, Right? The that industry sort of preys on people hating how they look and wanting to look like um, a certain way, certain features, right? Um, often, um, you know, they just want it's like the fuck. They just want people to make they want people to look like a Kim Kardashian, basically. That's like the 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 standard, I guess, right? Um, you know, the big boobies, the big buddies, right? The big you know the the smooth skin, right? The fucking the the lips and everything, right? Um, like that's what they want. But like, yo, if you have like a unique feature, if you have like a a fucking strong chin or like a you know a wide head or like a big space between your teeth, like th those are cool, man. Like those should be fucking like celebrated, man. Like those should be those should be like, oh, those are fuck. That's a fucking sick ass gap between your teeth man that's cool right it makes you different you don't look like anybody everybody else you know so it's like fucking and then and then it, these fucking these fucking these fucking beauty industry man they like can <laughs> it like conditions especially women most like 90 percent women it, it, it conditions women to think that they need to change themselves and they don't man they really don't you know everyone's got unique features and it should be celebrated, you know? But at the same time, if you want to fucking change it for the right reasons, fine. But don't change it to look like because this fucking asshole told you to, you know? That's so crazy, man, to go, like, put a picture of someone and, and, and to be like, hey, if I were to change how this person looks, here's what I'd do. Asshole. You fucking asshole, dude. That part's ugly. I don't like that part. I don't like that part. That's so mean. That's literally, that video is her being like, hey, I think this girl's ugly. And this is how I'd make her better. Like, fuck off, man. That's so, could you imagine if I did that? And what, since she's like a professional, she gets to do that? No. No, not okay. What if I did that, right? If I legitimately posted a TikTok and was like, hey, I, I think Owen Wilson looks sort of fucked up. And here's how I would fix him. Uh, I'd sort of change his nose around a bit. I'd give him a wicked ass fade. I'd uh, I'd sort of fix his chin around, and I'd uh, and I'd give him a and I'd uh, put him through a strict workout regimen to make him thick, uh, strong as hell. Everyone would be like, "Yo, what the hell?" <laughs> That's super mean to Owen Wilson. Owen, if you're watching this, there's not a thing I would change about you. Okay, you you put the win in. You put the W in Owen, dude. All right, you win. You win. Um, you w win Dixie. Is he in that movie? There's no way he's in Win Dixie. Let's see if he's in because. Let's see if he's in because of Win Dixie. He's not. <laughs> Anna Sophia Robb and Jeff Daniels. So. Oh, Elle Fanning was in it too. Dave Matthews is in Win Dixie. Is. Dave Matthews is in Because of Win Dixie as himself. I guess he plays a singer. Wow. What a great movie. Um Damn, that is wild. Um yeah, in conclusion, you know, if you want to change how you look, fine, but don't let people fucking talk you into it, okay? Don't do it for these freaking these plastic surgeons to freaking line their pockets, you know what I mean? These freaking these corporate bigwigs, man. 
These fucking corporate bigwigs. Um, I got another story that I kind of wanted to get into. It's very... It's very interesting. Um... Am I going to be able to record my screen while I do this? All right. Let's check. Okay, that's recording. And is this still recording? Oh, this is a game changer. Okay. Um so, this is a very interesting story that I wanted to talk about. Um it is the most dystopian story I think I've seen I've heard about in a while. This is from Shun, the producer. He, it's not about him. It's from him. He he he, he found out about this. Um, it just shows like it's just the most like twenty twenty two story ever. So I would love to go through with it, uh, go through it and talk about it, because um, I find it interesting. So, Star Wars Dinks: The Rise and Fall of a Cancelled TikTok Puppet Explained. A happy purple puppet delighted fans with Star Wars lore until TikTok deleted his account over claims of homophobia. The puppet. <laughs> the puppet. All right, let's go through this. This is a, this is a nice read-along. This is a nice Regia story. Social media has always anonymized those who you... Ban. Anonymized? Anonymized. That's how you pronounce it. I'd be the worst if I ever wrote a book and had to record the audio. Anonym- how fuck, what fucking word is this? Okay. Anonymize those who use it, allowing fans to debate anything and everything without putting an ounce of their real life under scrutiny. But now that TikTok and other video-centric networks reign supreme, some fans are looking to go one step further to distance themselves. That's how Star Wars Dinks came to be. Uh, yeah, that's interesting. If you're like, usually the, the the point of like hiding your identity is you can, you know, you have a little bit of leeway. You can say more outlandish things, right? There's no bla- blo- like backlash to you. But even then, and not anymore. If you're a puppet, you could still get canceled, which is crazy. Uh, but just who is Star Wars Dinks, and why are they being accused of homophobia? The answer is an odd but important lesson in social media etiquette. Who is Star Wars Dinks? Star Wars Dinks was a TikTok account that focused on Star Wars lore. The happy purple puppet with a mop of green hair wore different Star Wars outfits. Oh, he sounds like the Joker! Purple puppet with a mop of green hair? He's the Joker, baby! Uh, he wore different Star Wars outfits as he explained the nuances of Grey Jedi, the power of the Dark Saber, and his opinions on the min- minutia of the Star Wars universe in a soft-spoken voice. He answered questions, cracked jokes, and generally seemed like a wholesome presence on your TikTok feed. All right, let's see one. In what order should I watch the movies? In what order should I watch the movies? Okay, so here's the thing. Um, there are like three different... All right, so a nice, you know, a little puppet. You guys get it, okay? However, in July 2022, another TikTok user discovered the Facebook page of the man behind Dinks, which was littered with articles claiming the 2020 election was illegitimate, that legalizing gay marriage was a mistake, and that the vaccine mandates were unnecessary. So the man behind the puppet was sort of a sort of an asshole. I would hate to hear his uh his opinion on like the the most recent trilogy of Star Wars movies. He's probably he's probably got the worst opinions ever. There's too many chicks in it, man. There's too many chicks in the movie. Should have been a guy. Should have been a guy as the main guy. <laughs> um I just got a pop up of, of my let's, let's look rid of that. Um Okay, however, in July 2022... Okay, never mind. Sorry, I just read that thing. You know that thing where you're reading a book and then you read the same thing over and over again three times? I think I'd, I'm gonna, I just did that out loud. Uh, according to TikTok user Your Mom Gay, awesome, uh, who chronicled the event, Dinks <laughs> sicked his followers on the account that revealed this information in response, getting both it and him banned from the platform. In the video that led to his banning... Dinks explains that he did post on Facebook about Disney using the homosexual agenda to get more money. I was right. But argued that his beliefs don't affect his TikTok presence. Okay. I mean, they sort of affect everything you do. But um, While Disney and other corporations aren't above reproach for tokenizing LGBT plus people and issues the homosexual agenda is a baseless conspiracy theory rooted in homophobia. In response to Dinks' video, other TikTok puppets are speaking out to distance themselves from Dinks. Magic the Gathering puppet Sullivan 
The monster, for example, invited fans to hit him with a baseball bat if he ever uses the term homosexual agenda. Okay. Other TikTok puppets are speaking out to distance themselves from dinks. That is a wild, wild, wild sentence. It's... <laughs> Like, did the person behind it say it? Or, like, in Puppet, he was like, yeah, I just want to make a public announcement that I do not stand with the, the, the homophobic Puppet. The guy behind me, though, the guy, the pilot, the, like, the camera, pan, the camera pans out to show him. He's like, the guy with his hand in my ass, he does, unfortunately, support uh, the, the homophobic Puppet. So if you could stop supporting him, that'd be great. But keep supporting me because I'm essentially being uh, without my own, uh, with, uh, I, I have my own thoughts, and that's it. Come on, man. Sorry, getting so many notifications. I'm literally so popular. It's insane. Um, fuck, that's crazy, man. So he invited fans to beat him with a baseball bat. So break that guy's hand if he ever uses the term homosexual agenda. Honestly, good. Uh, good. Um, Brian Barry who co-hosts a podcast focused on the LGBTQ plus elements of Star Wars called Pink Milk, notes that the biggest problem with Dinks is that he still seems to be holding on to those beliefs. However, that doesn't excuse some of the alleged responses. If people are going after Dinks' family, then that's not okay, uh, but he's not denying his anti-gay logic. If he has a problem with gay people, he should own up to it. I try to allow people to change, but it doesn't sound like he's any different. All right. Um... Well, some fans argue the person... Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's interesting. I feel like apparently there was a TikTok of him like explaining everything, being like, "Yeah, these are true. These are these posts are real, but like these and I and I I'm, and I do still believe them, but I can still do what I do and talk about Star Wars without." Like he didn't apologize for them. He sort of doubled down on them, which is crazy. Um, but apparently this TikTok was like in his car or something. So it's crazy to think that like even when you're like. <laughs> still like in his puppet form being like hey I'm so sorry that I did this that I said all those homophobic things but I st I, I don't I, I mean them still <laughs> like okay man what are you doing what are you doing man look at yourself you know show your face right don't uh, don't half ha half ass apologize while in a puppet form you know But honestly, dude, if YouTubers did that from now on, like if Shane Dawson did his like full apology with like a hand puppet, yo, I'd forgive him. <laughs> Not actually, but you know what I mean? That would be a lot more funny, a lot funnier, you know? Dude, that's the, that's the, that's the way to do it. Logan Paul's apology, Logan apology. If he did that with a hand puppet... I have made an extreme lapse in judgment. I am so sorry, but now I'm a wrestler. That'd be awesome. Um, I just thought that was such a dystopian, like, weird current story that's happening. A puppet is ca being canceled on TikTok, and other puppets are, like, distancing themselves <laughs> from, from the puppet. Who, hey, which puppet's next, man? You gonna cancel Kermit, huh? You gonna cancel Kermit? Which crimes did he commit, huh? Which crimes did Kermit commit? I don't know. You gonna cancel Kermit for wa f fucking walking around pantsless and shirtless, naked all these years, right? Never heard that bitch ribbit even once. Are you a real frog? Apologize right now. I'm, I'm sorry. I can't do a Kermit, right? You gonna cancel Elmo, huh? Uh, well, Elmo was already kind of canceled, right? That was the opposite of this, because the per wasn't the person who like the the guy behind Elmo wasn't he like caught being like a predator or something, right? Is that true? Or is that a thing I made up? Elmo puppeteer scandal. Okay. Yeah, it was sexual abuse. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that's the opposite. The 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 puppeteer got caught. Elmo got off scot free. This one, puppet get, puppet's getting in trouble. Guys, I guess is fine. 
Um, all right, weird way to end it, but I'll probably end it there because I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go eat some food. I'm fucking starving. Um, but yeah, I know it's a little shorter than usual, but uh, you know, I still want to get an episode out for you guys this week to listen to. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, press the like button, comment, you know, put on your story and shit. I don't fucking care, dude. Um, but yeah, thanks for the support. Uh, go watch my new main channel video. Go see me on tour. Um, we got some new new merch, new colorways that came out. So you can go check those out. All that crap. All right. Thank you so much. I uh, appreciate you. Stay safe. And um, peace.